Y'all, y'all, y'all ready for this? Hey everyone, welcome to Subscribers League. My name is Rev Trev, and I'm pumped to share with you some fantasy football advice because um, we want to win. We want to we want to uh, compete so we can contend and we can win a championship. Only one team a year in your league wins a championship, and how do you make sure that it is you? So um, I've got some tips and tricks that I want to talk to you about today's. A uh, topic is an important one about who do you trust? Trust is a massive currency in fantasy football and some, you know, there's guys where you're high on and you think, hey, listen, this guy is going to be, an, I trust this guy. And why do you trust him? Why do you trust the guy? Is it because you have a inkling that you just know that you know he's going to be good? Or have you seen him in the past? And, and that's where I'm I'm more that guy. I'm not the risk taker. I'm the guy who I want to see it for a number of weeks. So picking up guys who I uh, think that there was some um, potential that could trust, um, that is a massive. So let's just, for example, okay, let's, let's talk about my Green Bay Packers, right? The defense is legit. Look at this. Look at this graphic for a moment. Look at this graphic, okay? Last three weeks... The Packers have owned their opponents, and these are not weak opponents. They have been fantastic. I now think that this is a legit defense that you can trust in fantasy. Uh, they'll get you a minimum of seven to eight fantasy points, if not more. They're getting turnovers. They're getting the sacks. They're even sometimes getting some fumbles. Um, so this is kind of one of the things. So if you look at... Uh, for example, before we get into the uh, week 10 stuff with the subscribers league, which I know a lot of you are here for, uh, I'll just go quickly to my team and talk about players I trust. So if you don't trust a player, if you're never going to play him, you never see a scenario where you're going to play him, you can drop him or maybe other people value him and trade. you can trade for them. By the way, trade deadline is coming up soon and so I think it's November 20th and I'm totally cool to pushing it back because I love trades. I love seeing people make deals in the league so I'm willing to, as a commissioner, move it back. But I just want you to know, like, if you don't trust this guy and he's got value, trade him. Patch him up with someone else, send him off to another team, because uh, maybe that guy has uh, an insight on him or an inkling or something that they think, this guy, I've seen him before. Maybe maybe you're, you're trading the name. Maybe the guy who used to be it. For all, I'll show you an example. So if you just look at my team, right? So Tom Brady, it's a, it's a flex league, as you know. Uh, I've got Tom Brady and Matt Stafford. And to be honest, it was just a sit him and don't worry about it kind of scenario. But honestly, Tom Brady's been struggling. Uh, has not looked good. He's not making his reads. Um, and then Matt Stafford has not looked good either. Same scenario. I'm, I'm actually getting worried. My trust level is lowering. Now, if someone could come in, make me an offer for a certain quarterback, I might push accept. But because of I've seen it in the past, I think I'm going to ride out these guys, and they're going to be my bread and and butter guys. I, I'm hoping that I can win a championship with these two cornerstones. But if you look at A.J. Brown, I love A.J. Brown. I think he is a phenomenal talent. I think he's up there with Metcalf and all those other guys. It's just that he's had some injuries. He's had a hard time staying healthy. And like last week, for example, I think he only ended up having 2.3 points. That's just not good on a Derrick Henry offense. I'm starting to lose a little bit of trust. The guy I still am believing in, Thielen, seven touchdowns, guys. Seven touchdowns already. So, believe in him. I believe in, in uh, I trust in um, uh, Eli Mitchell. He's a stud. James Robinson, stud. Uh, Travis Kelsey, super stud. Number one tight end in fantasy. S predicted and is. How many guys were predicted to be the number one and never was? So, that is money in the bank. Kamara. Trust him when he's healthy. Like, he's good. He's good. I mean, if I could upgrade, I don't know who I could upgrade for, but I don't think I can upgrade Kamara. I trust him. Um, obviously, uh, this Washington quarterback, he's just a fill-in for when 
Stafford's out. But look at Obel, Odell Beckham Jr. I think he made the mistake of going to L.A. Now, I'm not going to base this decision on one week, but you got to be wondering if he's made a mistake. Like, honestly, um, Rodgers passing the ball or Stafford, you got to pick Rodgers. But I've heard that he has a, a, a house in L.A. He was pretty pumped to go there. So, you know, good on him for making that call. Um, it's a great team. And then with Woods going down, he's probably going to get a lot more playing. But I do not trust Odell. So if you trust him and you want to make a trade with me, I will trade Odell Beckham Jr. because I don't have confidence in him. Uh, a guy I do, though, is Antonio Brown. Now, I've been injured most of the year, but that guy has something special. If he can come back and be healthy, I'm telling you, that's the guy I have trust in. Julio Jones, for example, not sure I have trust in him. I, ha I do not trust that he can stay healthy. So I would be open to moving him. The problem is his value is very, very low, and I can't really get in return what I want. Kareem Hunt, same situation. Been injured a lot this year, and I, but I trust this guy. I think he's a super stud. In fact, he will be in my starting lineup. And the, the problem is I have four great running backs, and so I've got to probably move one to get a better wide receiver, and I'm totally open to doing that. So... Uh, subscriber league that you've seen my team here you've seen what I'm looking at oh by the way Tampa Bay defense totally trust them I think their playoff uh, matchups with Brady and all those players are it's going to be monster weeks so I trust in Tampa Bay to have great fantasy football stuff okay let's so so the question is who do you trust um, and that's the call. That's the fantasy football advice for this week. Okay, let's just dive into last week. Last week had some incredible matchups. The blow of the week was only 37 points, and that was playoff bound beating underdogs. I ended up losing to Brian's fantasy football team, uh, 94 not 78. My team just failed me last week. Part of it was the Tom Brady and the Stafford uh, failures there for sure. VI Raiders had a monster week with 115 fantasy points beating Vexa. Vexa, seriously, you've been playing so much better lately and you just keep running into these big scores. And then BWG ends up losing to the battery who's been so struggling. Chad, you've been so struggling. Here you are, monster week, the highest point total of the week you get. Well done. Uh, beat a very good BWG uh, team and then B Pack keeps rolling, keeps going against the odds. Well done, man. 97 77, 20 point win there. And then, of course, we've already talked about playoff bound, but let's just talk quickly about the, the standings. There's two teams that are eight and two, and Stu's VI Raiders, well done, bro. And B Pack is number one tied for first place. I, I, you, you are. I, I, I'm just lost for words, man. And that never happens. So, uh, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood's right behind you there with, um, uh, even though he had a loss this week, uh, he is at seven and three. Battery is still surviving six and four. My loss pushes me down. Me and Pete uh, uh, are uh, at five and five. And then uh, Brian's uh, fantasy football team, they're only one, and Mark, you're only one game behind us, six, uh, four and six, and then underdogs and Vexa, they, they look like they're not going to make the playoffs, two and eight, one and nine, but you never know, it's not over, it's not over until the fantasy lady sings, so I don't know who that person is, anyways, so hope that you enjoyed this video, hope that you're um, having a, a great time playing this year, if you're struggling, don't give up, Use that waiver wire. Make sure you still keep competing, keep fighting, keep going after it because you want to compete so you can contend. And if you can contend, if you can sneak into the playoffs, there can be upset central. And I'm telling you right now, there's there's these teams here, one to eight right now, are all able to beat one another. In fact, um, VI Raiders, B Pack, uh, uh, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, and Chad, uh, the Battery. All made the playoffs already. Congratulations, boys. That is step number one to winning the championship is making the playoffs. So hit the like. I'd love to have you comment. Uh, and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. we got lots more fantasy football content coming your way.